Hello learners how are you all doing I hope everyone is safe healthy and positive at their home So our topic for the day is taken from class 3 from EVS EVS that is environmental science and the topic is plants around us So you might have seen around you lot of greenery with short tall bushy trees around you all these plants are important for the ecological or the environment today we are going to study about the various parts of the plant that is various important sections of the plant also we are going to study how we classify these plants depending upon their shape size and various other features so let's move further and learn more about plants so in plants let's start up and try to understand first what are the various parts of a plant that is how do we divide or classify various sections of a plant what are the various sections in a plant so now let's understand about the parts of plant that is what are the various section in which the plant is broadly divided so the two main parts of the plant are the root system and the shoot system let understand each of these one by one starting up with the root system root system contains roots that grows under the soil which usually is under the ground so we have seen the root system comprises of the roots which are under the soil below the ground then the second system is the shoot system and what is this the shoot system comprises of the components grown above the ground and the different parts that are there in the shoot system are stem leaves flowers and fruits so the shoot system comprises of the different parts like stem leaves flowers fruits which grows above the ground and root system comprises of the roots that grows under the soil below the ground so let's start and understand about the root system the root system contains roots which are under the soil and usually grows under the ground and if we talk about the function what is the role or what is the importance of root then roots absorbs water and mineral required for the growth of the plant and it also helps the plant to anchor to the ground that means it helps the plant to stand erect from the ground second part that is the shoot system let's try to understand what is the shoot system shoot system is a system that grows above the ground and it has the various important components what are these components the components or the different parts that grows on the shoot system are stem leaves flower fruit all these are the important components of the shoot system let's try to understand each of these different part in detail further starting up with the stem the stem what is the stem 
the stem is the stalk of the plant it helps the plant to stand upright the stem carries water and minerals from the root to the leaves and later on carries the food prepared by the leaves to the different part of the plant so here we have seen the stem plays a very important role the role is that it helps in standing the plant in upright position and second one it carries the water and minerals from root to the leaves from where the leaves prepare the food and these food are further carried to the different part of the plant by the stem then comes the branches what are the branches and what role do they play branches are the parts that grows from the stem and branches helps the stem to carry or hold leaves fruits flowers on the plant so because of branch we can see the stem is able to hold or carry the leaves fruits and flowers on the plant so it is an important part of the plant then comes the leaves and what what is their importance let's try to understand leaves grow on the stem and branches they are usually green and why are they green they are green because of the presence of green pigment called chlorophyll and this green pigment helps them to prepare the food then on leaves there are important components called stomata these are the small openings and through these stomata the leaves take carbon dioxide and give out oxygen so leaves are having the stomata which helps in preparing the food by taking in the carbon dioxide and releasing the oxygen and secondly leaves are green because of the presence of the green pigment called chlorophyll which again helps them in preparing the food the most beautiful part of the plants are flowers we can see flowers on the plant now let's understand what are flowers flowers are the reproductive part of the plant they come in different shape size and colors by the process of pollination many flowers develop into delicious fruits which are eaten by us so here we have seen flowers are the reproductive part of the plant and the most beautiful part of a plant which are in different shape size and color and also flowers develop into delicious fruit by the process of pollination and these fruits are eaten by us so we have learned about the different parts of a plant now let's try to understand what are the various types of the plant that is how we can classify the plants according to their shape size and various other features trees tall and large plants are called trees trees have woody trunks and branches examples of trees are gulmoha tree coconut tree mango tree etc thorny plants the plants that have thorns are called thorny plants thorns protect the plants 
from grazing by animals. Shrubs Bushy plants are called shrubs. They are smaller than trees and are profusely branched. That is, they have number of branches. The branches are thin and hard. Some examples of shrubs are hibiscus, jasmine and rose. Herbs Herbs are smaller shrubs. They have soft, green and weak stems. Examples of herbs are tulsi, mint, etc. Creepers are pumpkin, watermelon, etc. Climbers Some plants have weak stems and they need some support to stand erect and grow. Such plants are called climbers. Examples of climbers are pea plant, money plant, grape wine, etc. So, till now we have understood about the parts of the plant, that is what are the various important parts of the plant and also the types of the plants, that is how we can classify plants depending upon their length, their features and many other factors. Those types were trees, climbers, creepers, shrubs, thorny plants and herbs. Now let's move forward and understand about the various uses of plants. That is, how are plants useful in our day-to-day -day life? and to the various other factors. Plants give us food. We get most of our food from plants. Some plants give us grains such as wheat, corn and rice. Some plants give us fruits. Some plants give us vegetables like cabbage, cauliflower, beans, potato, lady's finger and carrot. Plants form many things other than food. Medicinal values. Some plants have medicinal value. Tulsi, neem and amla are common medicinal plants. Fibers. Cotton is the chief fiber for making cloth. Jute is used to make gunny bags, carpets, curtains, etc. Wood. Wood is used for furniture and building work. Teak, walnut, deodar give us wood for furniture. We also get firewood for cooking. Gum, paper, rubber. We get gum from the kikar tree. Bamboo and pulp of many trees are used for making paper. We get rubber from the rubber tree. Spices We get spices from plants. Pepper, clove, cardamom and garlic add taste to the food. Some other uses of plants. We get perfumes from sweet smelling flowers. We grow some plants for their beautiful flowers. Plants provide fodder for animals. Plants make the world green and beautiful. Dried plants, dried leaves and stems of plants are used for making manure. Dried wood from trees is used as fuel. Plants need caring. Plants and trees must be given good care. Plants give us oxygen. Animals and human beings need oxygen to breathe in. Hence, without plants, life would not be possible on earth. We must water plants every day, in the morning and in the evening. We should plant more trees. 
species. Summary Very tall plants with woody trunks are called trees. Bushy plants smaller than trees are called shrubs. Climbers are weak stemmed plants. They need support to stand erect. Creepers are also weak stemmed and creep on the ground. Some plants are non flowering plants. Some plants bear thorns. Plants are very useful to us. Dried leaves and stems of plants are used for making manure. Plants give us oxygen. So without plants, human beings and animals cannot survive. So that's all for the day. I hope it was an interesting session and you were able to understand about plants that make our world and environment so beautiful. So till we meet next, take care. Thank you.